Welcome. Let's get started. So this is going to be a quick tutorial on the asset library. First thing you want to do, let's right click horizontal split, bring it up, bring your mouse down here, hit shift F1. Hit it again. If you're using Blender 3.5 or higher, you're going to see the hair mods. It's an asset that's pre-built into Blender. Don't worry, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So now what we can do is go to current file. You'll see nothing because we haven't done anything yet. Go to edit, go to preferences. Let's come over here to asset library under file pass. Click the plus symbol. From here, you can go to any one of your drives and just add a new folder, whatever, hit enter. Make sure it's highlighted and then click add asset library. There's nothing in it, it's fine. Add asset library. It doesn't say save, you're good. Come over here, grab whatever object you have. Let's add a material because definitely can save materials too. Let's add blue. Right click, mark as an asset, and in the current file, your cube will show up. Come over here to the material, right click, mark as an asset, that's gonna show up. If you don't like it small, you can make it large. If you don't like it large, you can make it tiny or medium. I'll go with medium, no big deal. Um, so from right here, this is a couple things you can do. You can actually come in here and make a new catalog. You could double click it, rename it, call it new, come back to all. If you've got this little pen for the append sign here, you can drop this into new. Come click new. It is now an isolated catalog. That's just going to have the new things in here. None of these are saved yet. So what you want to do is click file and click save as. And since we have a name similar to this, let's put a similar name and let's go to the desktop and find our funky little file folder that is on the D drive and starts with SAC. Fun. Okay, you can re go ahead and double click on that and then we can rename that to SAC. Go ahead and save as. And what's gonna happen now, this updated, but if you don't have it updated, you can hit the refresh button if it shows up. Now I've got SAC right here and boom, I can now bring these in. And if I add in something like an icosphere, doesn't have that color on it, I can now drop that color on there. And then I can kind of rinse and repeat that process. And if I want to come and create a new setup and right click horizontal split, shift F1 a couple times, come over here and find that. I can now come in here with my favorite color and my favorite cube and make them a pair. And that's how you use the asset library. This says follow preferences. It is on append reuse data, which is gonna save you the most memory. Uh, you can link it, which is not gonna let you modify anything and that's kind of a pain. Last but not least, let's come over here and click download on the blender.org. Uh, and when you do that, click demo files. Here's how you get another one. Click cube diorama. Once you've got it, you'll see it comes in here. You can go ahead and double click on it. And you're gonna get a blend file. Now what you would wanna do is you wanna open up probably a couple windows if you're in windows and pull up wherever you saved that. And so from here, I'll just search until I find the SAC. It's funny I named it that. And then I'll take cube diorama from the extract folder and drop it directly into the SAC folder, okay? And now the SAC folder has cube diorama as well. And you may not want that, so you could actually delete that out. And what we'll actually do is we'll come back to Blender and we're not that version, we'll come back to Blender and open up the preferences and we're going to make another one and this one's going to be on the D drive as well and we'll just call this cubes hit enter add the asset library hit enter again doesn't matter get out of there you've already got it and from here I could now reopen these and get to moving so let's put this back in the D drive here and then I've got cubes right here so I can open up cubes drop cube diorama in very good if I come back to blender now I can hit the refresh button come down and I've got cubes and now I've got cube diorama and if I want I can start dropping these textures in I can start dropping these models in and start having some fun and it's pretty easy to create a scene like this very fun very easy Thanks for watching guys, smash the subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial lesson.